Yes, greetings, folks. We are playing around in something that I just recently found, and my inner sci fi nerd got really excited about. Somebody took Unity and made a shuttle demo from Star Trek, and as you can see, it's actually a native Oculus Rift demo. And it's kind of cool. I was kind of messing around with it and I crashed it, so uh, it's probably very unstable. But hey, check it out. I got, like, I don't know, it's cardboard crewmen? They're actually 3D, but I'm pretty sure somebody stole them from a, a window in a dress shop. But uh, anyway, we got a we got a shuttlecraft. We're inside of a galaxy class starship right now, so let's do this. Wee! So the whole purpose of this is kind of just to explore and have fun. And I found out that if I press certain buttons on my gamepad, it crashes. But this is still an early development. What's cool though is you get to fly around and see a lot of the really iconic ships from the Star Wars franchise. And yeah. It's a Voyager class, maybe even the Voyager. Who knows when this takes place, right? And hey, what the... Robbies? What are you doing here? Maybe we're friends with them. I don't know. But we're going to fly around in space and have a little bit of fun right now. And uh, I can't promise this to be action-packed, because I think this is mainly just to fly around and kind of enjoy the the scenes. But my, my nerd is just on fire right now. I've got to check this out. I thought I'd record it while I'm at it. So I like it how you can like look around and I mean you can kind of see little bits of the shuttle here and there. And I think he said who, the developer of this who's uh, honestly I didn't check his name and I feel bad for that. I'll post his name in comments. Probably a link to this if any of you rifters are out there. But anyway um, I think he said that in a future alpha version um, he's actually going to make the the keyboard here touchable like you can actually like click things using a, a ray tracer or something like that yeah that sounds really cool because it would be nice to actually like figure out how to use this thing I obviously I can see like you know some of the uh, the values here like the PYR I got my miles or kilometers per hour sorry I'm stuck in the USA stuff all that stuff seems functional at least to an extent and that's pretty exciting I mean it, obviously he's making some effort on this and I'm really really happy about that so I'm probably gonna keep my eye on this thing and just kinda see where it goes and if he does some really amazing stuff with it then uh, I'll probably post more videos on this if you guys are cool with it so let me know in comments what you think uh, don't plan on making this video terribly long because I don't think there's too much to this but like I said uh, I will be posting a link I think it's a rift only demo so sorry if you don't have a rift you can probably still play around with it but it's gonna look funky cuz well if you're watching this without a rift right now you'll know but uh, with a rift it's pretty spectacular looking it's kinda fun I mean, it's definitely got an independent game developer feel to it but it's still like you know if you have a, a decent imagination you can kinda start to engross yourself a little bit into the Star Trek universe and I'm pretty happy about that all right, check that out. We got a shipyard over here. Let's go fly through the shipyard. Whoop, wrong way. Oh gosh, there's a galaxy. No, that's not a galaxy class. What is that? I know Star Trek, but not well enough. I'm sure some of you Trekkies out there will be able to correct me on some of this. I think, I'm not sure if that is a galaxy class, because I think they, there's a, a new version of the galaxy class that comes out later on. That might be it. And everything escapes me. I have the entire Next Generation series, television series on DVD, so I really should know all this stuff, and I don't. Ooh, there's stuff over there, too. Just kind of fun to fly around. We're going kind of quick. Actually, in space, that's probably not very fast. I'm guessing this star's not to scale. And yes, I know it's our sun. I'm just ignoring it. It's kind of scary looking if that's our sun. I hope our sun doesn't look like that in the, the future that Star Trek takes place in. Can I get this thing going faster? Please? Which button do I press to make you go faster? Wait. I think I'm coming up on it faster than I think I am. Interesting. We'll explore a planet or two. I think off that way. Hello, cardboard figure. Uh, somewhere off that way. There it is. Yeah, so there's more planets to fly to. I won't be flying to all the planets on video, but I'm going to check some of these out. Yeah, if you hit the uh, back button on the 360 controller... Not sure I mentioned that, but I am using a 360 controller. We hit the back button on it. Uh, I think it actually transports you to the planet, but 
Last time I tried that, it crashed, so we're not going to do it. And again, woo, that's kind of fun. Is this Mercury? Yeah, I know I'm going over fast. I'm having fun. I can go fast and slow. Wait, how do I slow down? There we go. Something I don't remember how to do either. We Can I crash into it? That's probably a bad idea, huh? Oh, we're landing on Mercury. Oh. Hello, Mercury. Pleasure to be meeting your acquaintance, Mercury. Ah, this is my terrible impression of landing. Okay, we landed on Mercury. Bet you never did that in real life, but you can do it in virtual life with the VR Trek Simulator. Oh gosh, I'm lost. Hold on, let me find our, the ecliptic plane or whatever the heck they're calling it now. Or Jupiter. Seems a tad too close to Earth. Just saying. We're going as fast as fast can be here. There we go. What about these do? Nothing. <laughs> we'll fly to Earth and then I think I'll close the demo up. I think I'm upside down. If there is such a thing in space. There we go. Whoa, sorry for the chops. It is a little unoptimized, we'll say. I think the guy just pretty much used assets from... Um, I'm not